Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play for the PlayStation 1. Crash Bandicoot War. Yeah, so we're starting Crash Bandicoot Warp today. is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so to open the time portal simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal good luck okay so there's our adventure the Cortex is out to get us with the evil mask Uka Uka, and we must stop him from collecting the gems and crystals of the past, present, and future. But because, you know, future apparently on Earth has crystals. But anyways, so you can press R, R1 and X to jump, X to just regular to jump, square to attack, triangle just shows you your total, circle crouches, if you run and then push circle or R1, you slide. And yeah, that's about it. So then you can go here to select level. So we can go to levels known as Toad Village, Under Pressure, Orient Express, Boneyard, and last but not least, Making Waves. So let's go to the first level, Toad Village. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Okay, now, so... Crystals are just found throughout the level. Gems are for getting every box slash crate. And then the relic, well, I'll show you how to get them when you beat the time trials. I recommend you don't try them until you get the run ability unless it's, like, an underwater or a flying level. Then you could do so, but otherwise, don't even bother. Because you're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, this level is 42 boxes. Just spin into enemies to kill them. Boxes with Aku Aku give you an extra hit, because otherwise Crash takes one hit to die. Boxes with C's on them give you checkpoints throughout the stages. Boom. Uh, ones with Crash's heads give you one-ups, or lives. If you don't like calling them one-ups, like one-up mushrooms, you know? Boink. 
Anyways, oh, that guy with the giant claymore died, or bastard sword, I'm not really sure what it is. And each stage also has bonus levels. Just like Crash 2 did, but I haven't played that on my channel yet, so we'll go to that game later on at some point. But anyways, let's do this. So there's seven boxes. Of course the first ones are going to be very straightforward, and then they're going to get more and more difficult. You can't die in a bonus stage, but you can lose your Aku Aku and everything that you've gained in the bonus. So be on the lookout for that. You don't want to try, you don't want to lose everything, you know? Anyways, let's have a drink. We're a little more than halfway done the level now, which is good. Now, adventuring onward through this goat-infested village. Is it called Toad Village because it has frogs? Because those clearly aren't toads. Oh god. Thing almost got me. It's like, om nom 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 Collect 100 Wampa Fruit to gain a life. I almost forgot to tell you guys that as well. Oh, look at all those Wumpa Fruit. Ooh, there's the crystal. Now all you have to do is make it to the ending of the level. And, yeah. Hey, Mr. Goat-tacular. Oh, we got more. You have to destroy these quickly, otherwise they turn into steel. And then you can't destroy them ever again unless you come back to the level and or die. So, with that, we got 100% here except for the Relic. By the time you beat the game, you'll probably be averaging 50%-ish, because the relics do take up a majority, and there are gems you can't actually get if you just beat the game. Oops. I'll, I guess I'll show off this dance the first time, and then we'll stop doing it. Yeah, look at that pelvic thrust. Okay. Yeah. With that, we can now go to the second level, Under Pressure, which is a water level. Uh, we can probably get the relic in in this level right away, but I don't know if I want to come back and do that right right away, or if I want to just wait till we actually beat the game to get all the relics and just do it all at one given time. So we have 92 boxes, and that seems like an awful lot for our first underwater level, but oh well. It should be too difficult. Water levels aren't the most difficult thing. They got more difficult in Wrath of Cortex, so that's a thing, but... Well, yeah, don't touch those weird, pointy things. They're kind of like spikes, I guess, but they, uh... Man, how the hell did that happen? I accidentally got hit by the eel. They electrocute you. I lost both Aku Aku, really? Goddamn square isn't spinning fast enough, I swear. Don't touch the buffer fish when it's pokey. Otherwise, you'll get stabbed it and die. Now, this thing is supposed to blow you down faster. But, I don't know. It doesn't really seem to actually have that entire concept working out for it. Ooh, now we get the weapon. This weapon's pretty badass. We can destroy everything, including the red coral. Which, the red coral, as long as you're in a section where you have this, can be destroyed and give you boxes. Or other secret goodies and whatnot. So yeah, we're almost done this. Not going so bad so far. Oh no, shark! Crashes are friends and not food. I brought that up in my uh, Donkey Kong Let's Play. You know, like with the fish food frenzy. Monkeys are friends, not food. He didn't listen to me. He ate us a few times. It was a very successful Let's Play, though. Still have to go through and finish all the bonus content for all the Let's Plays that we currently have going on. I'll do that at some point. But if you collect three Aku Akus, you get invincibility, by the way. I forgot to tell you guys that as well. So you destroy the mine. Eh, almost there. I don't think we got introduced to Nitro yet, have we? If there's Nitro on a level, there will be a Nitro switch at the ending of the level. And he just flip that and destroys them all, but we don't have any yet, so... Can't really show it off too much. Oh, god. Almost didn't get it, and I got Aku Aku too, so that's pretty badass. Plus, we got all the uh, boxes, so we can just beat the level now. Thank you for the gem, sir. And now we can leave. Zoom. Bloop. I think that went pretty well. And we got all the goodies. Pachoom. And another Pachoom. Yeah. 
That brings us to the third level, which is actually a Coco level. Yep, Crash can't go through the portal. Pretty sad. And now for Coco, she has to ride animals. And we have 51 boxes. Now, for these, we just... God damn it. I had to die, I missed one. I believe it's Circle that makes you go faster, and Square gives you a, uh, a slight boost. But Circle gives you the really big... Eh. I don't think the boost is really that different between the buttons. But yeah, you'll need them for the time trial. I'm just kind of trying to show you guys at the beginning there, but then I ended up missing a box, and it's like, well, we don't want to miss a box, so... We have to die for it. Yeah, the only time where suicide is right is in collecting 100% in video games. Boop. Love the music here. Very Asian. Wait, what? God damn it, the tail of the dragon got me. Very Asian oriented is what I was going to say. Yeah, jump, man, jump. It's the jump manger. Oh, this doesn't have a one up anymore. They didn't give me a 1-up anyway, because I didn't have enough Wumpa Fruit for once. Okay, this time, don't run into the goddamn dragons. Okay, now this one, we have to jump on this plank. And, see, ta-da. These levels actually aren't that difficult. I'll be a little stingy here and there, but... Yeah, overall, I find them pretty enjoyable. And we almost got everything. We just need seven more boxes. Six now. Point, point. Woohoo! And just one more. Boom! We're done. So now we can just rush the rest of it. God, we were running on the wall. And there's our gem. Aw, oh, what a cute little kitty. Why are we riding a tiger anyway? And she just got sucked up into the into the door. Now there's also another game that kind of features this whole time bubble thing, and that's Rascal. It's a very difficult, clunky PS1 game, but it has a cool story to it, and pretty cool graphics. Difficult game, though. And Coco doesn't have a weird dance. Anyways, Boneyard. Can't remember if this has a skull platform or if it's a color gem platform, but we'll see. Uga Uga and Cortex want tiny get crystals and bring them to big Colosseum in Rome. Crash, leave them for tiny, or crash get crushed. Crash, crush, crush, crash. Mm. Doesn't sound like fun to me. I love these levels. These levels also have some of the most amazing music ever. 66 boxes. Now, concept here. Run from the dinosaur. But while watching out for lava, pterodactyls, stumps, rocks, grass, you name it. There's lots of hazards you gotta avoid. Woo! We almost landed in that lava. That would have been bad news for us. Oh, schnitz. Whoa! Run, he's close! Woo! Talk about close calls. Like, holy shiza, man. Holy shiza, Batman. Hey, Aku! We need you, bro. Just jump on the TNT to blow them up. They have three seconds before they kill you. If you're near them. Otherwise, they just explode and you get that box. You can also spin to destroy the grass. It just takes some time. Okay, now we need the red gem for this level. So we can't get 100% here. Well, technically we can't anyway, because we don't have the uh, running shoes yet to get the relics. Spoiler alerts on some of the abilities. You guys probably have all played this game before, you guys are just re-watching it for the fun of it. Ooh, bonus platform, don't mind if I do. Boink. Just float away in this awesome level. Oh man, we can hear the dinosaurs. Yeah. 14 boxes here. Hey, perfect. Man, that mystery crate had nothing in it. Okay, need to destroy one more, and then we can use this to get up here. Now, 
Let's use the ground, ground pound, which is our body slam. Literally just press R1 while you're in the air. And there we go. All the boxes are done here too. Sweet. So we're at 45 out of 66. We have about one third of the level done. Or one third of the level left. Not done. Alright. Ah, uh, Mr. Reaper. I oh, will hit it. Boink. God damn it. I guess I didn't need it, so whatever. Woo! Oh man, it's going back into this perspective. Yep, yeah, kind of figured it was going to be like another dinosaur spot. I don't get to Triceratops, though. Maybe like something like a T-Rex. Run! Run, man! God. Okay, just, just don't look back, Crash. Hey, Nitro! Yeah! Let's get out of here. We almost got crushed by a dinosaur. But we managed to get 100% here as well. And you can see little X's in like the loading screen. Don't know if you guys can. No, you can. They're very faint, but they're there. And there we go. So we got one of the sulfur gems. Now, last level is another Coco level, Making Waves. Which is a Sea Dew level. Okay. So for this, you can hold down literally... Actually, I guess you can only hold down X. 37 boxes. Pretty straightforward, just use X and navigate the level. A lot of people have issues with these levels, I find them fairly easy, actually. They kind of tickle, though, because your controller constantly vibrates. It's like... So far, so good. Yeah, no need to backtrack yet. Or die or anything like that, but, you know. It's easier to steer if you're going fast, so try not to miss much. Because it gets annoying otherwise. Hey, Seagull. If he has nowhere to land, he can't hurt you because, well, he won't come back. <laughs> well, there's our crystal. Almost hit that bomb back there, but we made it. Oh great, more bombs. Oosh. Only ten more boxes remaining. Eight. Well after this will be six. God damn it. I don't know how we missed that box. Yeah. There we go, we hit it from the side and it worked. Eh. Oh well. Whatever works, am I right? Five more boxes. Oh, including three right here. Oh, that was an easy three. And the last two. See, very short, easy level. Took less than two minutes. And with that, we should now be able to take on the area boss. Okay. Boom. Boom. And with that, let's go to Tiny Tiger. Sweet. Crash! Coco! Store the pretty crystals! Tiny take them back in Gladiator Arena! Okay, we're going to a Gladiator Arena. For a face-off against a giant tiger that's ten times our size. Okay, maybe not ten times, but... Hey, there's, uh, Cortex and all the science goons. Scientist goons, not science goons. Boom. He's like, you. Oh, he's doing this I'm gonna crush you thing. Oh, so you get a trident. Are you, are you trident or Poseidon now? Boom. So after you hit him, he's gonna send out an army of Tiggers! Oh, I mean, not Tiggers. I mean, Leos. Watch out for these evil DiCaprios, they might bite you. They're the hard part of the fight. 
honestly, uh, Tiny is a really easy boss fight. As long as you have your Accu protection, and you can also kill the lions, so it's really not that difficult. I used to have a hard time with this as a kid, but honestly, it's way too easy now. Boink, 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 boink. And there we go, Tiny's dead. And gives us a power-up. Supercharged Body Slam. For a more powerful belly flop, press the X button to jump, and then press circle button at the top of the jump. Press triangle to continue. Okay, well, there we go. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress, if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. Okay, so we can go to the second area. Well, we won't do that in this episode because, you know, we don't have much time, but there we go. That's all we can do with World 1 right now. So in the next episode, we'll be going to World 2, which looks like an Arabian level, and then an Asian level, an Egyptian level, and a future world. See you guys next time.